we have a campaign on this campus called See Something, Say Something, Do Something, which is very much uh, in line with the national effort for people to report suspicious activity and suspicious persons. We encourage everyone on the campus, if they see something suspicious or they hear something suspicious um, or they feel uneasy about a situation, that they call the police department so that we can come out and assess it. If we have a major emergency on campus, our limited first responders, whether it be police or fire, are going to be tied up dealing with the emergency. So it's important that every member of our campus community be prepared. The first thing they need to do is make sure they've got a, a what we call a go kit. And it's a backpack or a duffel bag that's got some basic uh, things in it, you know, a couple bottles of water, maybe a sweatshirt, some warm clothing, a couple of energy bars. Something. So if you're stuck outside your building for a couple of hours, you can take care of yourself. Now, what happens when an emergency happens? You can be notified in a number of ways. That can include the fire alarm going off. It might include a call to your desk that requires you to leave your workplace. So the things that we talk about are, you know, if you have the time and it's safe to do so, log off your computer, lock up any sensitive files, and then leave. Go outside to the assembly point outside your building and wait for further instructions. I am responsible for ensuring that every unit and division, office and lab on the campus has a continuity plan. And what that means is that they establish what their critical functions are, why they exist, who knows what they do, why they do it, and how they would recover and be able to deliver services if there was a disruption to their operations. If there was a budget cut and they had an office, for instance, of five people and now they only had two people, how were they going to continue operations with those reduced resources and how are they going to recover? All business continuity plans are written so that they're able to use that as a training tool, as an onboarding tool for new employees, and to also advocate for themselves if there is something that they see in the resources that they have available or don't have available to them that could be a risk to their operations. Whenever you think something might be happening that needs some immediate attention from the police, from an ambulance, from the fire department, just immediately call 911. You need to uh, log off your computer, lock up your equipment, and then leave the building. This is especially important if you have student information or other confidential information around your workstation. You need to make sure that's secure before you leave. You need to either take it with you or somehow secure it during the time that you're away. When, when in doubt, call 911 if, if you think there's a possibility that something uh, bad might be happening, just immediately call 911. Then um, there's another uh, special responsibility that is, as faculty and, and staff we have, is that in addition to the immediate needs of the emergency, we have to be thinking about the whole campus and the students. Um, but if it's a more isolated emergency, we need to immediately be thinking how do we keep moving forward the mission of the university even as we address the, the, uh, the emergency?